Hi everyone, I'm Mahiro. I'm gonna talk about Japanese grammar for shopping. I mean basic phrase before I enter shop. So let's start. I guess some people worry about shopping in Japan. For example, you want to buy something, but you don't know where you should buy. It happened because you don't know how to ask in Japanese and find the things you want in Japan. That's why you will wonder where you should buy. So today's video solves this kind of problem. After you watch this video, you will be sure how to ask in Japanese and be able to find the things you want to buy in Japan. Well, let's get down to the main topic. N wa arimasu ka? This is basic question for you to ask. This sentence has two meanings. One of them is do you have an? The other is is there an? As you know, one of them is for you to ask store has what you want or doesn't have before you enter shop. The other one is for you to ask if something is in a certain area. In English, you need to remember two types of sentence for these questions. However, in Japanese, you just need to remember one sentence. Only N wa arimasu ka? Because this basic question has two meanings. By the way, let's check each examples. First one is the example of do you have an question. As you know, it's for asking before I enter store. Example sentence is kimono wa arimasu ka? This means do you have kimono? In this case, en, I mean noun, is kimono. Just to be sure, kimono is Japanese traditional clothes. If you don't know that, please imagine by looking at this picture. Anyway, this phrase is really simple, right? You just need to change kimono to what you want. For example, if you want to buy necklace, you can say necklace wa arimasu ka? Just change noun. Second one is the example of is there any question. Let me confirm, it's for asking if something is in a certain area, right? Example sentence is chikaku ni konbini wa arimasu ka? This means is there a convenience store near here? Now is you know convenience store. But you will wonder chikaku ni is here or near. Chikaku ni means near here. It's useful word. You can use chikaku ni for other situations. For example, when you want to ask is there a park near here, you can say chikaku ni kouen wa arimasu ka? Anyway, you just need to change noun same as before. From here, I'm gonna explain about reply from store staff. If you don't know about it, you can't understand what they will say, even though you can ask. Basically, there are two types of reply. One of them is, Hi, arimasu. This means, yes, we have. So when they reply like that, it's good for you to enter shop because there are things you want. And they will continue to guide and say, Kochira ni narimasu. It means here is N, so you can find what you want easily. The other one is Iie arimasen. This means no, we don't have. So when you got this kind of reply, you need to find store and ask again. Bura bura wa arimasu ka? And some people will continue to say Moshiwake gozaimasen. It means we are really sorry. Now you understand how to ask and reply from store staff. So let's check example of conversation between customer and store staff. The situation is customer wants to buy souvenir. Souvenir in Japanese is omiyage. That's simple situation, right? Let's start. Customer say omiyage wa arimasu ka? Noun is omiyage. That's why he just put omiyage at noun position of the phrase you learn. And then store staff say, Hai, arimasu. Additionally, she guides him and say, Kochira ni narimasu. It's only that. So he could buy lots of souvenirs for his family. I'm gonna explain how to buy and ask how much in next video. So you will be sure how to buy something in Japan perfectly. This part is advanced level. So if it's already over your capacity, you can skip. But if you want to learn more, it's really helpful for you. So today's advanced level is about N1 no N2. 
N2 is noun, but N1 can be noun, adjective, and something like that. That's why basically N1 no N2 has four types of meanings. So let's check step by step. First one is material. For example, gold watch. As you know, gold is material. So in this case, N1 is gold. Gold in Japanese is kin, and watch is tokei. That's why gold watch is kin no tokei. Second one is country produced. For example, Japanese car. In this case, Japanese is N1, and it's Nihon. Car is N2, and it's Kuruma. So Japanese car is Nihon no Kuruma. Third one is brand. For example, Toyota car. Toyota is brand, so it's N1. That's why Toyota car is Toyota no Kuruma. The last one is possession. For example, my shoes. As you know, my is word for possession, so it's N1. That's why my shoes is Watashi no Kutsu. If you can use N1 no N2, you can broaden your expression in Japanese. So please make many sentences by changing N1 and N2. It's your assignment from me. By the way, it's time for the segment of question. I start this segment of question from previous class. Because I want to know you and be closer. And also some listeners request this kind of segment. So today's question is, what do you want to buy in Japan? I recommend you Japanese sweets because it's delicious and also looks beautiful. That's why I want you to try it. Well, it's just my recommendation, so please answer your opinion in the comment section. I'm looking forward to checking your answer. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope it's helpful for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Additionally, if it's okay with you, please share this video to your friends who want to learn Japanese. Thank you for your kindness. See you next time.